Two. Fuck you. Is that a super sledge? Aren't you fancy? Was a super sledge. Choo choo. Or waffle. All right, and some red eggs, and a fancy hairbrush. So why not? You want that? It's all yours. Okay. Well, now that we've dealt with them, all right. Did a little save real quick. Don't need a paint can, even though the little magnifying glass would suggest otherwise. Uh, let's not. Where are... Well, I can't loot him because he's glitching out of the universe. He didn't even try. Oh, here he is. What'd you find, buddy? Dog meat? Whoops, whoops. All right, all right, all right, all right. There we go. Got it. Ooh, stealth boy. That actually made that hack, or that hack, actually made picking that lock worth it. Check this last one. Hello? Any ghouls? Close. You just want to meander on south to check out the theater real quick? I think your lack of response is a yes. There we go. A couple death class stakes. That's pretty good. I don't know what that is. It gives me 10 HP. Rad stags. If you insist, I will kill you. No qualms about doing it. I just usually let you stupid deer red staggies go. Legendary Venomous Angler. Oh, good. 
Oh, right here. Another Venom explosive. I got five more shots and I'm out. That's it. Not the sniper rifle. The next gun. At least we crippled his damn leg, right? Oh no, we failed to help Green Top Nursery. Whatever will they do? Get along without me, that's what they'll do. Oh, you finally. Finally decided to power up there, did you? Here. Bask in the flames. Oh god. Never mind. Lights out for you. I'd be dead if I hadn't crippled his leg, that's all I gotta say. Fuck this, I'm leaving. <sighs> Dear God. Hitman's plasma scanner and typical damage what you mean. Ooh. Thanks. Dummy. Hey. Doggy, dog me, dog me. Yes, woo. Oh, you're not gonna be able to take any of this, are you? Yeah. All right. Cause you're carrying all. Yeah, I mean, you're carrying a missile launcher and a harpoon gun and Final Judgment and the Freezing Fat Man for me, so yeah, I'm not surprised. Oh yeah, and the shielded Gauss rifle. I keep forgetting you got that for me. Should probably switch to that, actually. Final Judgment. Yeah. Tell you what, pop. Give me the gauss rifle. And take some of this other shit from me. Uh, let's see here. Okay, my shotgun is empty. So go ahead and. Oh, you can't. Darn. It's alright, buddy. Alright. Thanks, anyways. Hey, Nick. Hey. Go ahead. There we go. Alright. See the signal is. Oh wait, real quick. <clears throat> okay, so move you there, and then wait. I got a lot of guns. This here, <clears throat> and righteous authority is forty-five, fifty. 
That's 28, huh? Alright. You. And then... Snip rifle can go there. There we go. Oh, lever action, you and me. All the way. Wait a minute, where's the... Here we go. So there's a signal coming from the theater? Huh. Well, let's go investigate then, shall we? So now I'm curious. Why can't I... Where'd my reticle go? Well, there it is. It's weird, you can't look at the top of that chest for some reason. Oh, this is a big, like, double theater. A movie on either end. That's pretty cool. Okay. Well, let's see what's here. Yeah, post-apocalyptic wasteland. It's great, huh? What secrets do you hold, safe? Ah. <clears throat> Aha. Nice. Ooh. Yep. Don't want that. Okay. Stay away from that stuff. Oh, hey, the movie reels. That's cool. Oh, requires terminal, huh? Can handle that. No, oh, come on. There we go. I'm going to release this. Invaders from beyond our galaxy? Elliot Manfield stars once again as Blast Hannigan, dashing space rogue as the evil Zubon Empire plans its final push against the Earth, colony of Neptune. Blast must make peace with the tribal Neptunians and their ruler, the intoxicating Queen Zarla. Can the Earth colonists and the barbaric Neptunians put aside their differences to repel the common enemy? <gasps> Manziloid vs. Robo... Rilla? Robo Rilla? The giant man lizard Manziloid is back, and this time he has, he has Seattle in his sights. But after five attacks, the U.S. Army is ready. They've created the perfect opponent. Meet Robozilla, 8,000 tons of Detroit steel and American ingenuity. He's our only hope against the radioactive reptile. Oh, the Murder Express. Trapped on a train, no chance of escape, and a murderer is on the loose. Grant Hillman and Aubrey O'Brien star in this thriller from acclaimed director... Bernard Switchback. With more twists and turns than ever before, this one will leave you guessing until the very end. Note to the theater owners, the conductor did it. <laughs> hey, why did they tell them that? Animal magnetism. Jack Limes, Tony McKenzie, and Donna Monroe... Monroe star in this mac madcap comedy about a couple of zookeepers vying for the attention of the zoo's newest primate specialist, Dr. Jill Swinger. She's an uh, educated, liberated woman, but they're sure all she needs is a man to set her straight. Turns out she's about to make a monkey out of both of them. You'll go bananas with a superior flick, co-starring Bongo the Gorilla. <laughs> Into the Hollow Earth. 
Imagine a place where prehistoric monsters still roam free. At the base of a dormant volcano lies the entrance to a world within our world. Welcome to the Hollow Earth, a world of mystery and excitement, a land of terrible beasts, lost civilizations, and savage magic. A world that Jules Verne could only dream about. Now available in a spectacular Dino Vision! Note to the inner owners, Dino Vision not available in most areas. Oh. Ticket prices. As many of you may have heard, we have decided to stick to spike ticket prices an additional ten dollars. Some may look at this as a sign that ticket sales numbers are decreasing. Quite the contrary, sales have been higher than ever, and this is the perfect time to capitalize on the popularity of the film. Employees must experience a few slightly hostile customers and a brief dip in sales, but the long term benefits will of course our profits across the board. You're an idiot. Note to maintenance. Power issues are causing an inability to have both projectors working at once. Please look into it as soon as possible and advise. Oh, man, that must be a lot of power to run those two. If it's... Nice. Excellent. Alright. Dog meat. Heads up. Out. Over my here. Way. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Is there anything up on top? <clears throat> yes. There's a crate. Camp stash. And a duffel bag. Excellent. Okay. Let's go see what the other projectors got projected. What? What? Go! Show me. Just stand there. Bump on a log. What? The thing in there that I don't actually want? Thanks. Great. Hey, Nick. Where are you, man? Nick? There you are. Hey, Nick. Heads up. Do some. Valentine! Hmm. Let's see. Can you hold on to... You know what? Yeah. Go ahead and hold on. Oh, for great. You. No, you're full. <clears throat> Looks like we're going to be going back to Sanctuary after we're done recording today, everybody. <gasps> Oops, I should have said that out loud. Now you know. Kidding. I don't care if you guys know. <gasps> giddy up, Buttercup! Well, giddy up, Buttercup. Let's go. Is there a Vim? There's no Vim. There's never any Vim. <clears throat> Let's see. Two medics. Nice. Lovely. I'm overweight as it is. <laughs> All the ghouls are watching the movie. That's great. No, we'll let them watch. It's fine. Western. Ooh. The Fighting Furies, last stand at Fort McGee. I didn't see that on the list. There are a lot of ghouls enjoying this movie. Oh, dog meat. Yo, psst. I'm listening. Where's dog meat? I need 
dark green. Dark meat. God damn it, dog meat, where are you? Dog meat. Dog meat. Come here, boy. Nick, where'd my damn dog go? See a lot of folks at their worst. Yeah. Dog meat. For the love of God, dog meat, come here. Wherever you are. Dippy little dog. Oh my God. Are you still over here telling me to go get this thing? Where the hell are you, dog? <sighs> Where is it? Oh, that's right. It's an aid item. Thank you, myself. I need this. Go ahead and hang on to this. Thank you. Manager's key, what do you know? Watch out, buddy. Watch out. Okay. This is gonna be fun. Hello, everyone! Goodbye, everyone. Oh, we got one straggler. Abomination space cannot comprehend. Science cannot comprehend. <gasps> Looks like a Mylar King from the old games. To menace the earth. Watch out, lady. And attack! Ooh. <coughs> out of the mist and slime. Time for the history of man. From the depths of their sun center and oceans. Okay, it's repeating now. That's cool. Oh. It's a big fancy projector. 
Man, now I want to get a projector and set it up so I can have the movie screening at the starlight. <coughs> I don't know how many caps I can make if I control world movies. Let's see. Baby rattle. I have to admit, I was slightly disappointed that the cars didn't blow up too. Although I think a couple of them actually might have. It's just the blast from the mini nuke was probably enough. Oh, ooh. excellent! <clears throat> All right. Well, that was cool. And you get to see the two little. Well, you don't get to see the full movie, but you get to see the little repeating, like, trailers or whatever for them. That's pretty cool. Ooh, a sign. What's the sign say? I'm trying to know what the sign says. I'm going to say something about. Yeah! Eden Meadows Twin Drive In, Last Stand at Fort McGee, and Night of the Fishman's Revenge. Awesome. Well, everyone, I'm going to stop it here for this week. I need to run back to Sanctuary and drop off crap, obviously. And we'll head up and actually get around to getting those uh, items, the power tools that she needs. So, <clears throat> so, if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. If you're enjoying these videos, do leave a like. As always, I appreciate your comments. And if you could share my channel and video on videos on social media or around the interwebs that would be greatly appreciated it's your support that keeps the channel going so until next time everyone as always stay safe out there <laughs>